my friends. Hello, hello, hello. I cannot believe it, but I am st I'm still congested. So here we go. Uh, congratulations, Steph. I mean, my goodness. Was chatting with Spooky and True Kelt, and then out of nowhere, in comes Steph to steal away the first. Congrats to you, though. Uh, <clears throat> True Kelt, hello there. Of course, I, I said hello in chat, but I have to say hello uh, in sound command as well, or whatever you want to call it, but... Not sneaking in the first while I send loot to Link in Discord. Oh, really? I didn't even notice that. I did not have my phone on me, though, so... Yes, I need to, I do need to check out Vortex. So, yeah, let me, let me explain this debacle that was me trying to install mods yesterday. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I do need to check out Vortex. I heard about Vortex. I also heard about the Nexus mod manager. I tried using the Fallout mod manager, FOM, if you will, but uh, it did not go over well. So, um, it led me a little bit, down a little bit of a rabbit hole, but that's kind of the modding community, if you will. I keep saying, if you will. So if you will, I will explain what happened. But feels very pocket sand <laughs> right there, too. There is always tomorrow, yeah. You have to get up at 5.30. Oh, no. Don't give false hope. My only hope, Obi-Wan. This morning, I went back and watched some of Lute's clips from four years ago. Oh, gosh, did you really? Were they cringe or just like loots only younger? Honestly, not cringe. Uh, you're lying. Generally the same loots we enjoy and love today, but production value and camera presence have gone through there. Yeah, so that's that's the main thing. I'm the same person. Uh, however, I've allowed myself to be when I'm on a camera, you know? Um, when I first started streaming, it was very much just, I don't know, I would get excited about something and I'd be like, oh, cool. <laughs> you know, like now I actually let myself show that excitement uh it's it's kind of a weird uh amount of like you have to give yourself permission for that it's kind of weird uh hard to explain but yeah love seeing stuff like that which can i ask which clip it was spooky do you do you know i'm like terrified now uh <laughs> i i told curry this actually and curry hello and as well as coleman hello um and lady iron hello um I told Curry this like a while back uh, because I think I think she had asked for my uh, my archive link at one point, and I was like, "But why do you want to watch that? It was so boring." <laughs> um. So yeah, it, it, uh, I don't. It's fine. I look back on them and I'm like, "Okay, no, that's cool. I've come I've come a long way." But at the same time, I'm sort of like, "Man, I don't know why anybody would want to watch." Why would anybody want to watch some of these old streams? Uh, I, I have them there for posterity. Also, in case, um, you know, in case in case there was a moment that was cool that happened and I want to look back on it, uh, that's why the archive exists. So um, it was actually kind of nice when I was playing Resident Evil Village. Uh, I was able to go back into when, when I had played Biohazard uh, back in 2018. So that was pretty cool. So. <clears throat> Oh, right. The, uh, yeah, the ancient aliens. Love me some ancient aliens. That was, um, the Solus Project. The Solus Project. Evolution of a streamer. Uh, good luck on the parenting, True Kelt. I don't know if you were able to hear or not, but good luck. Lady Iron, how's your morning going? When the stream goes blam and the screen goes white, you're in for a good time. <laughs> uh, just saw an ad for Morbius. Looks interesting, but I'll wait until it comes to D Disney+. Plus. Yeah, same, same. It does look interesting, though. Coleman, how's your morning going? <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Yeah, Spooky, that is from... Hang on a second. They're pretty funny. You look so nervous. You become so chill now. Well, like I said... <laughs> that is... Is that from my... No, this isn't from my Xbox. That was, oh my goodness. So that, that was from, um, <laughs> at least my camera excitement isn't screaming incoherently. Well, I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. I, let me, let me put it this way. I, there are people uh, that do that, that I think are very funny and entertaining, but for me, uh, they exhaust me. <laughs> so I can watch like Jacksepticeye is a great example of this. Jacksepticeye is, hilarious and it's got a, a, a great energy but 
I can only watch so many of his videos at one time before I'm just like, all right, I need a nap. You know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah, so that was the, I was playing on Xbox back then, um, doing a display capture on the, you could like mirror your Xbox display on your PC monitor. So that's me actually sitting at my desk. Prior to that, I have some, uh, some older videos that uh, I was like, if you ever hear Chaotic talking about it, I was sitting in a chair, like I had a comfy little rocker chair that I gamed in, uh, legit using the old Xbox with the Kinect. Uh, it was bad. It was rather poor. And then my only audio was my headset, uh, my Xbox headset. So most viewed clip of all time for four years ago. <laughs> it's pretty rough, but pretty funny you look so nervous though i i think that's uh i don't know if i was nervous just like i said i didn't really give myself you like in your psyche i feel like you have to give yourself permission to be yourself like if we ever met in person i'm much more like i am right now as opposed to uh what i'd be like in those old clips you know what i mean like it's just i think it's something to do it's the disconnect between like the human face-to-face -face interaction and what you see on the camera you know what i mean like there's there's nobody in this room with me, right? Like, so I have to, like, you guys are here. I just have to, I have to put you in this little box. You know what I mean? So, but. Far Cry Primal. I really, I really enjoyed Far Cry Primal, actually. Yeah. Enjoyed the surprise pup in the background. Did she walk in in that one? I didn't even watch the whole thing. I do cringe at my old clips, so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there she is. Oh my gosh. That was, so that was before we got her on Apoquel. So you can see how patchy her fur is. It's sad. I forgot about that. It's sometimes it's like, I feel like she's been on it forever, but she hasn't, you know? Yeah. Same. Only been at this for two years, and wow, we my old clips uh, even have the same huge difference between here now. For sure, for sure. Even honestly, if, even if you look at the difference between my clips from when I first started on this schedule that I'm on, which is about what 16 months ago, something like that. Um, you know, from from November 17th, 2020 on to now, there's quite a change. It's pretty funny, but little time capsule to start your morning, right? Thanks for that, Spooky. Uh, it is pretty funny. It is pretty funny seeing the, the old clips, old vids. Shared a pertinent meme from uh, yesterday's stream in as seen on stream. Uh, uh oh. It was from yesterday's stream. I really do need to check out the Vortex mod manager. Let me explain what happened. I can explain. So her path was recommended by the residents of Good Springs. That's for school girls. Now here's a route with some chest hair. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that that's that is in fact me yesterday, Coleman. <laughs> I, I I didn't even I wasn't even trying though like I I promise I I didn't care about go, getting to New Vegas it's just the fact that it told me not to go so I was like well I, I need to find out what this is you know uh, I also have to show you something something that I didn't notice yesterday on stream um, as soon as we load into the game it'll become apparent but uh, I <laughs> I I was I was testing out the mod that I installed um, and and I noticed it basically right where we left off yesterday so I'll, I'll i'll get to that but uh so yeah yesterday i i was looking i had a, a list of mods that i wanted to install of course a few of them have some like uh dependabilities so you got to install another mod in order for that mod to work properly um which is expected or at least i expected it um and so i've got my list of mods and the very first mod i wanted to start with just because it was the first one i found was a uh, texture uh, upgrade, a texture upgrade mod. So um, it, it came in three different packages uh, that I had to download. And then there were some additional like bonus packages that I could download too, which um, I don't remember exactly what all was in them, but I think one of them was um, upgrading them for a 16.9 display. So anyway, I downloaded all of those textures. Charles, good morning. 
Um, hope your day's going swell so far. Um, I downloaded all those textures and I followed the instructions using the Fallout Mod Manager, F-O-M-M, -M, FOM. Um, I followed everything to a T. Everything was there. I, I didn't have to like guess on anything. The instructions led me straight down the path that I was looking out of my machine. So no discrepancies whatsoever. And then uh, I go to I go to load the game up. I don't know if I loaded the game up or if like I don't remember what exactly happened. I think I think oh I think what happened was I think I tried launching the game through Fallout uh, Mod Manager, Fom, and uh, Fom just crashed, and it said something like couldn't find the mod file, um, you know whatever. And so I boot it back up. And it said, can't find the mod file. It has to be uninstalled before FOM will launch. So I was like, okay, let me just uninstall. Maybe something went wrong. I'll reinstall it. And so I do that. But then it says, boop, boop, boop. It pops up more error messages. And it's like, not enough space on disk. I'm like, I'm trying to uninstall something. Why, like, why do I need space on my disk? And I go and I look and my uh, boot drive, my C drive is nearly full. And so I'm like, okay, well, of course, I didn't explain this whole process because like of how slow it takes, to, like download the mods and install them, like, and then actually create the mod files on them. It took, it took like two hours just to even get to this point. Um, of course I was working in the background, so it's not like I was just sitting here, but, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, that was pretty much the whole time, like, like trying to get that thing and that one mod installed was pretty much my whole work day. Um, while I was working in the background and uh, yeah, so that uh, that didn't happen um, I eventually then last night I got on I got on my computer yesterday uh, night and I just started uninstalling things that I wasn't using anymore Of course, these were all games that were installed on my D drive. Okay, but uh, But because of how how it just ingenious Windows is it stores all the app and program data on the boot drive so the game can be installed over here on the D drive and it's like, no, 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 no. We need to put that where your user profile is over here on the C drive. So my C drive is where all those extra files, like all the mod files were sitting because they were in app data or whatever. And it's like stupid. Anyway, we'll get there hopefully. But I cleared a lot of space. I had like another 13 gigs that I cleared uh, just in, in game files that were uh, I uninstalled. So. Weird timing for it to show up on my Twitter feed, <laughs> right? For sure. Always watching. Uh, sometimes you have to wonder, you know? Hard drive management is such a pain. Yeah, I I've already decided if if I upgrade this computer or the next computer I build, whatever it might be, um, I'm just going to buy a massive amount of storage. Um, and I'm not going to have like a separate small boot drive. That made sense. That made sense when SSDs were really expensive, but now that they're not, I mean, I might as well just get two, uh, two one terabyte drives or larger, um, and just go from there. And then one of them can be, you know, uh, I can put, I can put, you know, whatever I want on the C drive. And then when that gets full, just put stuff on the D drive or, you know, whatever, um, or try to only put stuff on the D drive. That way there's tons of space for app data and program data on the C drive. I don't know. So. Is there not an alternative way to compress your files? Uh, the thing is, Steph, the app data folder is kind of mysterious. Kind of mysterious. Um, and I'm trying not to... Like, I, I actually was, was trying to move my app data folder over to the D drive and then create a sim link or, you know, a junction or something like that to tell it to start saving on the D drive. Apologies if this is, uh, you know, too nerdy talk here, but... Uh, I decided not to do that because I saw I was reading some forums and a lot of people were like, no, nah, I had a lot of trouble with that. I wouldn't recommend it. So I'm like, OK, I'm just going to uninstall crap that I don't need. It'll be fine. So I have six terabytes of my PC. Do you really? Two one terabyte SSDs and a four terabyte HDD. Still feel like I'm bursting at the seams. Really? Dang. So that's a lot better than me because I've got two M2s, um, one of which is a 120 gig and the other is a one terabyte. And that's all I've got. That's all I got. But. Am I utilizing the Wiseman scale? Sorry, can't event, can't even. I have no clue. Just saying words. <laughs> I started watching Silicon Valley. I like it. When I got my laptop last year, it came with a single one terabyte drive. I ended up buying another two terabyte drive for games. Yeah, 
for sure. Uh, so X, I mean, for a laptop, it was, I'm assuming it's an external two ter two terabyte. One terabyte C drive, one terabyte G game drive, one terabyte P program drive. I like that. There you go. What, um, what's the configuration for that? Even just to be able to use my two, my second, uh, M2, I had to disable, I had to disable one of my, um, like PCI ports, which I'm like, I don't really care because I'm not using that one. So I don't know. They're just motherboards are weird like that. You have to sometimes have to make some sacrifices for your storage because I record all my streams, assuming I'll ever do anything with it. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I, I've spooky. We've all been there, my friend, seriously, two terabyte SSD. So you've got, wait, did you say, so you've got two hard drives in your laptop. That's impressive. Katie. Hello. Hello. Great time. You just sat down with some lunch. What's on the menu? Uh, it's going, it's going okay though. It's going all right. I was just lamenting the fact that I was not able to actually install any mods yesterday because, uh, the installation failed on the very first mod I did. And so, uh, I'll be trying it again today, but I'm going to try to use a different mod manager. I think that'll be the difference. I think fall, the, the FOM, like fallout mod manager is just too old. It's, it's, I don't, nobody's really supporting it anymore. So maybe like the vortex one that spooky mentioned, or even the Nexus mod manager, maybe those will be, be better. So we'll give those a shot, but oh, chicken noodles. I'm jealous. Toad's jelly. Yeah, that's awesome. Charles, not hard drive SS. Right, 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 right. For sure. But still, um, still, I, I mean, I'm just thinking I haven't bought a laptop in a long time, but, uh, mine would not have had space for a second drive. So it had two M twos. Okay. Okay. Two M two ports. Oh, so they're M two specifically. Okay. When, when people say SSDs, I generally still think of the smaller, like not the smaller form factor from an HDD, but I'm still thinking of two and a half inch. You know what I mean? Whereas the M2s are, you know, <laughs> pack of gum size. So. Need to upgrade my laptop's internal M2 SSD and then add on HDD for storing non-games. So I don't need my super fast speed for anime picks, documents, and other fluffy stuff. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I, I, I will say this. I, I. I, my old machine had an HDD, um, a one terabyte. Uh, it was, it was fine. Um, but once I, once I went to M2s, I was sort of just, I've been spoiled now. Like everything on this machine is M2. And so I'm like, Hmm, I, I don't think I can go back. I really don't. I feel like I've been spoiled now. Everything is just ridiculously fast. Um, yeah. Two M2 drives and a solid state drive have an external five terabyte storage. Dang, there you go, True Kill. Vortex is pretty good. You've used it, Katie. That's good to hear. Yeah, that's what Spooky's recommending, and I I, I will tend to lean towards your recommendations as opposed to uh, some random uh, post on Nexus. You know, laptop came with two M2s, so that's awesome. M2s they are crazy good. Yeah, I spent a little more than I wanted to, but I don't know. I honestly don't know why I did it. I just, I think it was the fact that I wanted, uh, you know, because I've got a tempered glass case, so you can see right into the inner workings of the machine. And I think I was sort of like, well, where I'm going to mount that, like, I don't know where I'm going to mount the, uh, like a, a 2.5 SSD. So maybe I'll just go ahead and get the M2s cause they go, they go right on the motherboard and they just sit right there on the motherboard. So. And actually one of them, so one of them, you can see like the Corsair boot drive, you can see straight up just sitting on the motherboard, but the other one is actually hidden behind this little plate. It's kind of cool. So, uh, my storage one, which is an Intel, uh, very ugly. There's nothing like the, the Corsair one is really sleek and it's all black and it says like Corsair, you know, and whatever on it. But, uh, but the other one was like an Intel one, some of the, the cheaper looking ones, so they don't have any sort of like design to them. It's just just the chipset and everything sitting on top. But yeah, I love how fast everything is for sure. And that's the other thing too. You've noticed like when I, I mean, I'm sure even, even a, uh, even an HDD, uh, for desktop would still be much, much faster than like, you know, Xbox 360 days. But when I played this game back on the 360, the, the for new Vegas, anytime I'd, I had to open a door, I got a loading screen. Now it's just like, boop, there it is. You're outside. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty sure even an HDD would, would significantly decrease that, but it's just nice. Uh, the Witcher, the Witcher three, when I moved to SS, when I moved that on the SSD, same, same deal. I legit playing that on the Xbox one, I could get out my phone 
and scroll like Twitter or message my friends or whatever. And like the, the loading screens in The Witcher 3 were crazy long. And then you put them on SSD and it's like, you know, it's just pretty much instant. It makes a huge, huge difference. But you used it for Skyrim. What kind of, uh, what kind of modding did you do in Skyrim, Katie? I'm, I apologize, like, if I snored or anything like that. I've, this, this cold, this is what happens for me when I get a cold. Um, I, it just, it lingers. Like, I feel fine. I feel good. Um, I, I didn't feel all tired yesterday like I had been. I was a little sleepy in the middle of the day, but, um, but what it feels like right now, I mean, I'm still, you can hear that I'm congested, but I don't, like, I can breathe fine. I don't feel like I'm, I'm struggling there, but uh, everything inside, I don't know. Like, I try to clear my throat, and it just feels like I'm all just kind of locked up a little bit. I don't know what it is, but... Laptop is not your typical laptop. It's got a 17-inch screen. It's about 2 inches thick. Calling it a laptop is like calling a side of beef a steak. <laughs> I gotcha. I remember right, Nexus Mod Manager turned into Vortex. Oh, did it really? Is that it? I didn't... I did not know that. M2s are so much cheaper now, too, that they are, yeah. So my one terabyte, I spent less than $100 on that. Uh, the 120, again, was a Corsair, so uh, a little bit more expensive usually. I, I don't remember on that one, but I, it was definitely less than $50, $50 reduce. I should be clear on this, on the on the currency that I used. Uh, uh, less than $100 reduce for one terabyte, uh, less than $50 reduce for a 120. Um, gig. Two terabyte SSD was like $250 reduced. Dang. A lot of quest mods, quality of life, random encounters, massive fan of mods that make the weather change, more ambient sounds. Yes, me too. I like to, I like to just make the game look a little better. That's all. That's for me. I'm for the most part, I'm, I, I like to keep it vanilla except for make it look a little bit more really, uh, just make it look a little more modern is all. Same thing, chest congestion, but I feel fine. Otherwise, been coughing all week. Dang, I'm sorry, Lady Iron. Uh, yeah, mine's. I counted. This is my fifth day of being uh being all congested in the nose, in the nasal passages. You know, morning, K Dizzle. How you doing? K Day Dizzly Wizzly. I just made that up. Does that does that sound good? Um. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, like I said, sitting on the couch watching a show Thursday night and uh, from start to finish, I, I was fine at the beginning and then at the end I turned and I was like, well, I'm tired and it's like, wow, I'm congested all nasally. And then, uh, yeah, that was Thursday night. So this is the fifth day. Gosh dang it. People tell me they get over their colds in like three days, four days. And I'm like, how? What do you do? Like, I'm a fairly healthy individual. I can't do it. My motherboard has three spots for M2 drives and they all have heat cover or covers heat sinks that blend in design. I know, isn't that awesome? So only mine only has one uh, cover. I think it only has two slots. Kind of hard to see uh, with the lights on, but lots of drugs. Is that how you do it? That's how you get over it? <laughs> I tried taking that allergy medicine, but I guess because it's uh, it must not be allergies because it didn't really help me at all. Let me just put it this way. So Thursday was when I picked up the allergy medication, I believe. Or wait, was it Friday? No, it was Thursday. It was Thursday. I picked up the allergy medication, took it at like four o'clock, and then by you know nine o'clock, uh, it was like it was like somebody just plugged my nose every time I talk. So, but like I said, I can breathe fine. Breathing okay. I don't really feel too congested. There's a little congestion there, but not enough to make me feel like I'm talking out of McDonald's straws or something, you know. Uh, so my friends, I have some, uh, it was pretty exciting. I didn't realize it until actually this morning, but, um, the follows that we got yesterday actually put me over the 900 follower threshold. So thank you all so much for that. Um, it is, uh, it's, it's a little mini milestone, if you will. Um, I have, I have, uh, I don't know exactly what I want it to look like yet. <laughs> Not, you know, just your usual NyQuil, ibuprofen, cocaine, uh, Vicks VapoRub. <laughs> Thank you, cocaine. GG's on 900. I appreciate that, Spooky. Of course, now that I'm saying it, uh, I'll lose a few followers and drop back down under 900. That's just inevitable. But um, 
but uh but yeah it was it was pretty cool i didn't notice it until yesterday uh well until this morning actually uh, when i logged on i was like oh shoot those those guys that followed yesterday put me on uh put me over the edge so appreciate that to everybody that's that's followed and stuck around uh i do i do plan to have a celebration at a thousand i don't know i don't know what the celebration looks like just yet but uh but i do have a plan to do so um so yeah, that's uh, that's something to look forward to. I don't know when that'll be. Um, obviously, we're kind of going a different route than I was before. Um, so yeah, click here for follows to follow. <laughs> Cocaine is just to help you sleep. Oh, okay, okay, all right. That, then that's fine. That's fine. Thank you so much, Katie. Seriously, appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's been it's it's been good. It's been it's been good meeting meeting all the, our new people, uh, our new friends that we've been getting. Uh, it's been really good so obviously I, I hope to continue to do it um i don't know i don't know what the thousand follower celebration will look like but uh but it will be fun it will be a party if you will so um yeah i, I haven't given anything away in a while so i need to do that too uh so yeah yeah um i will try again today after stream to work on the mods but i think for now uh i think for now we'll go ahead and just play as is uh, so we're still playing vanilla. I have something, like I said, I have something a little bit funny to show you. Um, if you're trying to sleep on cocaine, you're sadly mistaken. Is that right? Oh, man. Okay, have, hey, have you been doing it wrong this whole time? Um, all right, here it is. I also rearranged my icons on my desktop, so... Because uh, I deleted, so I had uninstalled so many things, I just had a bunch of empty spaces there. Speaking from experience, huh? I mean, the NyQuil balances it out. <laughs> You know, uppers and downers, always good to combine. Let me show you guys this here um, as the game is launching. Once it launches, I got something good. Uppers and downers, chat. Uppers and downers. <laughs> Save Ray, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. I plead the fifth. Uh, it kind of startled me a little bit, and I'll be honest, I, uh, it wouldn't have been recognizable without Nidalicious. Uh, so let me show you what, what we were on the verge of yesterday. Also need to figure out what, what I should try to do today. Uh, I was trying to screw over, uh, Ringo yesterday, and that didn't really work out. I think it's just because it's so early on in the game. But I think I'll probably just try to progress so that way I can find out, uh, I can find out more about the Powder Gangers and everybody else. Very telling who actually knows how cocaine works versus who doesn't. <laughs> Alright, check this out. Check this out. We, so we found that, like, piece of a, uh, a, an airplane that was an abandoned shack, right? So it had the, it had the, I, I didn't realize until I saw this, it's the, it's called the Hornet's Nest. Uh, 588 it looks like uh, so yeah that's that's the little there was a little burn barrel in there all right and then so we had the memorial right over here that uh, it was spooky I believe who said that uh, it's actually a part of fallout lore not an actual Vegas uh, installment so right over here I noticed there was this uh, handy sign that says warning death claws ahead <laughs> So we were right on the verge of Deathclaw territory. I had no idea. Uh, not a clue. Never noticed that sign yesterday. And like I said, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have even like thought to look for signs like this uh, if not for that video that Nidalicious posted in the uh, in the Discord. So <laughs> it was we were on the verge of just total collapse yesterday. <laughs> oh man. Just know if you cut it with a plaster or flour, you can sell a lot more to the frats. <laughs> Thought cocaine was a downer, or would have picked something else. Death claws in these older games—they are terrifying. Yeah, remember that sign in my first playthrough? Also ignored it. Should we go? Should we go? Red light, Coleman. Red light. Red light. Came across a death claw, and oh hey, these things look cute. No, they don't. <laughs> Coleman says red light. I mean, hey, we just saved it. Let's go see how tough these death claws actually are. I 
How tough are these guys really? You know? Red light. It was used in early medicine. That's true. It was also used in Coca-Cola. Wait, what's that? That's not a death claw. I feel ripped off right now. Wait, do I not have a weapon in? Oh, no, I've got the sledgehammer. All right, this will be fine. Dang it. I'm just trying to find a death claw. Dang it. Wait a second. I think we can actually outrun a rad scorpion. Where are the death claws? Can we get the death claw to fight the rad scorpion? That sign promised me death claws, all right? What is this garbage? Just more rad scorpions. Oh, you know what? Ah, it's not so close. It's not so close. It's actually over here, isn't it? Well, they didn't follow me as far as I thought they would. This will be fine. It immediately loses 50% of total. <laughs> yeah, not so great. Turns out not so great. Um, I, know, I recognize this train car from the video. Who's this fella? Why are you guys naked? Watch out, watch out. No, no, come back. Where are you going? Stop it. Oddbox, hello, hello. Good luck against the death claws. Yeah. Oh, they're naked powder gang. Why are you guys naked though? Watch out. Whoa. Okay. Well, uh, interesting. Okay. Well, hey, we survived it, so it turned out okay. Oddbox, welcome in. Hello, hello. All three on a first play didn't uh didn't play it before I went to sleep because of the first time I played was right before I went to sleep and I had a pretty scary nightmare of ghouls and death claws. Oh Nander, what's up? Eleven months, dude. Holy crap! Morning, fellow survivors. Hello, hello. Cheers to you, Nander. We get some cheers up for Nander, everybody. Almost a year. I know, hard to believe. Time absolutely flies, my friend. Not a death claw. I'm scared uh, to imagine what one of those would do now. <laughs> That's true. Uh, the, the death claw would probably one hit me. I kind of want to find out though, you know? Wait, what's a mutt fruit? Fresh taters, precious. Okay. Sunset saspies. Oh gosh. It's sort of like a, this is very much a but did you die situation? But did you die? Why are there no Sunset Saspies in the Sunset Saspy crate? These signs are promising me death claws, and I have not seen a single one yet. Death claws ahead. Okay, I follow the sign directly. Could go for a Sunset Saspy. Mm. Oh, do I have to go up that little hill? Maybe I have to go up this hill. Wait, did the Rad Scorpion catch me? Yeah. Those silly rad scorps. A second. I, think I might be able to get a normal one. Gotta love the old Bethesda combat, huh? <clears throat> oh, run into that. Ah, get wrecked. Old news, rad scorp. I'm not even looking for you. Oh, it's an empty one. Actually, was hoping to get it one of those poison glands so I get me some of that. Uh, uh, what was it? She made. She made something with uh, like a, a casserole, some sort of poison casserole. Sounds great. Okay. Kind of do without the scary music here. Need to have a good vantage point on the death claws. Uh, could they be by this old mining rig? Or are they down there? No, because there are survivors down there. What that is? I'll have to go discover that. Yeah! Why can't I jump anywhere? Ah, uh, invisible walls. Gotta love them. Tastes like real sunset. It's five o'clock somewhere. Nandra, how you how you doing, man? How's life? Oh, 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 oh! Here we are. Nope, nope. Still an invisible wall. Gosh, dang it! Why? 
Why would a game ever install invisible walls? Might actually be trapped over here now. Oh yeah, I'm super stuck. Super stuck. Yeah, this is great. Okay, well. Okay, well. All right, welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, it's a fresh start. Totally fresh start here. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Gotta love Bethesda th physics. Absolutely. The best. No un unstick command? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there, maybe there is. Gosh. I just wanted to see some dang death claws. This guy didn't make it very far. Oh! Nice little bag here. Oh, a silence 22 pistol? What? Yes, please. Sir, yes, sir. We'll take that. Okay. Uh, so I got into that, that train cart no problem before. Maybe I do another save here. Can you fast travel when you get stuck? Oh, I probably could have Oddbox. That's that was a good that was a good suggestion there too. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Nander, if you know of a command, let me know. Uh, I definitely don't off the top of my head. I I uh, accident only accidentally brought up the console yesterday, so I do know how to bring it up. I tried killing Ringo that way. That didn't work. Like, well, if I can't kill you by conventional means, okay. What's this? What is this? This is a dead Brahmin. Looks like a dead Brahmin. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and exit. I keep so I keep thinking the uh, I keep thinking of Fallout Four. I believe like duct tape is worthless in this game, but it's actually pretty useful in Fallout Four, right? For modifications for your weapons. Alt F Four is unsick. Okay, I'll try that one next time. All right, yeah, thanks for that. That'll that'll be a big help. Uh, make sure to press them uh, pretty quickly, right? Like you have to, you have to hold, you gotta hold them. Uh, let's see. Do, do I? No, these way too much. These way, way too much. I can take the ones that are light. Junk food. Barrel cactus fruit. Yeah. TCL is no clip mode. Wait, really? Hang on a second. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall straight through the ground if I do that. Is that not the case, Nonder? Are you guys trolling me here? You guys trolling me? TCL? Really? Hang on a second. TCL. Oh my God, I'm trusting you guys. Probably like force delete, delete uh, cloud saves. It'll make you float. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, okay. Do I still have. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can still. Okay. All right. I just want to find out. A, I just want to find a dang death claw, that's all. So, wait, could you fly way up in the sky and then do TCL again and then fall to your death? I'm guessing. All right, let's take a look at this mining rig. With all these Deathclaw signs around me, there's got to be a Deathclaw somewhere, right? Mod number one installed. Be careful with that. I, I will. I will for sure. Yeah, there they are. Aha! Cool. There's one right there. Should we get a good look at it? They can still kill me, right? Technically, it's a collision if they hit me, but... Oh my gosh, this is a terrifying area. Loot's gonna get clapped. <laughs> no, this is perfect. Oh, oh, that's auto move, I guess. I didn't mean to do that. Hang on a second. Oh god, better get up high. Okay. Hang on, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Uh, okay, we'll go. We'll go. We'll try to go like right here. This be their hunting ground. 
All right. Look at him. Gorgeous. The wild death claw in its element. Uh, I don't know where the other one. Where'd the other ones go? There were at least two others. Jeez. Oh, like numbering my death claws one, two, three, and five. I can't find. Okay, that one's giant. Does that one see me? Oh my gosh. What hope do you have against these guys? Look how fast they are. Magnificent beast. Clever girl. <laughs> Ivox, thank you so much for that follow, my friend. Cheers. This one's for you. Welcome in. Now type God and let's go. Oh, gee. Oh, gosh. Up, up, down, down, left, left, right, left, right, A, B, start. Hashtag reused joke. All junk is useful in Fallout 4 because of settlement craft. That's true. That's true, Katie. Gourmet Betrayal? Hello, Gourmet. Can we get some cheers up in the chat for the Gourmet Betrayal? Maybe a shout out when you get a chance to. Cheers. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing, my friend? Hope you're having a good day thus far. Um, were you playing some... Are oh, you playing Spider-Man? Oh, goodness. What an amazing game. Fun kind of intended there. And thank you for the follow as well. Cheers to you. That is quite the name. It really is. It really is. We're currently playing some uh, playing some Fallout New Vegas. Uh, I, I plan to install some mods, but I haven't installed any yet. Although Nonder is teaching us about some console commands, which is pretty cool. Uh, I gotta get a good look. I gotta get a. I gotta get a look at this warlock over here. Um, I want to see what 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 are those? Wait, there are teen. So there's a regular size death claw, and then there are teeny tiny death claws, and then there are giant death claws. So do we have like death claw elites? Oh god. Oh geez. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, come here. Stop it. I just want to see what you are. What are you? Gosh. Oh, jeez. So close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They really don't know how to react because I'm in the air. Well, looks like we're going to the Shadow Realm. Right, Spooky? Good God. I think they just smacked me back into 2011. Do they hit you into the menu? <laughs> I think so. Oh my gosh. Uh, do I still have TCL on? I do. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and turn that off. That so it turns out that did not that did not save me. Uh, that didn't save me at all. Curb stomped you all the way back to the menu. Yugi boy. Oh gosh. <laughs> you guys ever seen the video of Pegasus just saying Yugi boy over and over again? It's pretty freaking funny. I, I Yugi boy. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the funniest clip I ever clocked. <laughs> Love Yu-Gi-Oh for sure. But that was so much fun. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we I'm glad we I'm glad we did it. It was enlightening. Pretty enlightening. So enlightening in fact that I'm pretty sure we met Buddha somewhere along that uh that menu screen. Buddha, Allah, Jesus, we met them all. We sure did. <laughs> Let me say the Scott Pilgrim, you punched the highlights out of her hair. Oh, I need to rewatch Scott Pilgrim. I adored that movie. Oh, goodness. 
Mrs. Magoose wasn't really a fan, but she's also hashtag not a nerd, so that's yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we know where the death claws are now. Uh, what's this little thingy over here? A uh, little settlement. Or, uh, survivor camp, whatever you want to call it. Also, maybe I should find out where I'm at on the map. Uh, oh, I'm kind of going towards New Vegas, so this is going to be terrible, in other words, right? Like, everything over here is just... Murdering. M murder. Everything here is going to murder me. Right? Well, maybe not. Hang on. You seem friendly enough. Hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. There are? I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. But way less fun, right? Where'd the death claws come from? You watch that one? It's pretty funny, isn't it, Curry? I love the clopped. Funniest clip I ever clopped. Back to the beginning of the game. <laughs> we needed to know if these death calls like cuddles. They surprisingly did not. No, they don't. And that the funny thing was that was only a, a regular death claw. That wasn't even that wasn't even one of the giant death claws. Such a good movie. I've been trying to convince my wife to watch it, uh, but I bet her reaction would be similar. Really? Man. Well, we can hang out and watch it together, Nander. I tell 2011 me a lot of things if I could. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that, that I think that death claw slapped me back to the release of Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> thanks for those. Thanks for those clips, you guys. Not zero chance there's a little bit of PP in Loot's pants now. <laughs> that is true. It is not zero. He has a death call problem and his name is Chomps. That is a good. Oh, that's a good. Good eye there. Goodness. Bit insensitive, Lewis. <laughs> the Giants in Skyrim. Oh, my gosh. They could totally wreck your world deal he's never invited me to watch it oh what but also tell 2011 me a lot of stuff too you you haven't seen it all right maybe we should do a watch party where'd the death claws come from they moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite we shut the quarry down while we waited for the end wait the death claws made off with the dynamite or the powder gangers but now the hang on that's a really important distinction up. there the NCR is a no show. And my men and Could you imagine death claws with dynamite? Sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. Now I could take care of your death claw problem. Have you ever seen a death claw? They're taller than a man and far, far stronger and faster. And there's a watch party. You'd be in curry. You'd have to be the meanest, toughest, roughest bastard in the wasteland. To have you ever seen me against them? And I don't think that's you. <laughs> you need to take out the pack leaders, the mother death claw and the death claw alpha male. Wait, which Kill one did I see? I think I saw a mother. Pretty tough job. Hmm. Tell me about the powder gangers. Ah, a bunch of escaped cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up, but the powder gangers are loose. Wait, the railways? One group that attacked us and took our entire supply of dynamite. Huh. Need to get started on work. We'll lurk if possible. Have a great stream, folks. Ping me for cheats. Oh, for sure, Nader. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. And I hope the work goes well. Definitely in for the watch party. We're trying to uh, watch more stuff and more importantly, read more. Fair enough. Yeah. Lady Irons in on a watch party? Shoot. All right. All right. Have to get a schedule set up. Have you had problems with death claws before? Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Hmm. Not sure if it was the noise or reading the heck of books. Like what? I can't believe that what's on the list. Pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Hmm. Something else. Okay. What is this place? This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. The actual sure would be a shame if somebody took Sloan away from you. North of here. The whole thing is an NCR operation. We make cement for the NCR using the limestone we dig out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay is good. Wish we got paid in caps, <laughs> though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR paper money. Hmm. 
You're going to watch too, True Kelt? Sounds good. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely try to set something up in the Discord then. Um, I know for sure I have a DVD copy of it. I'm not trying to brag, but I do. Uh, so we can watch it in 480p gloriousness, or I could try to find it, you know, in 1080p somewhere. Stream it from that, but... Currently rereading the whole Aragon series. Dang. Saving heck of books for marriage. Aragon is my whole jam. Like comfort food, such basic fantasy, really? Rich Guy Lutz owns physical media. So here's the funny part about it. Uh, I don't own the DVD anymore. Um, I ripped it and I have, so I have all my, I have all of my DVD library, uh, digitally now. Uh, so I, <laughs> I'm not trying to brag, but I have digital DVDs. Okay. Uh, I know that's elite level stuff, but, uh, yeah, I no longer have DVDs. They took up too much space. Took up too much space. We should have a book club. Yes, I'm in. Although it will take me forever to read, uh, as fast as you guys. Cause I only ever read before bed and I get, I fall asleep pretty fast. It's a gift and a curse. Um, uh, what's the NCR need with the cement? Wait, do I? I don't really care. Uh, you get paid in caps? No. The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money, just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't exactly fair. For example, a hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly half that in caps mm. around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure. What can you tell me about New Vegas? I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. Sounds good to me. I've seen a Let's lot go. Of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. All right. Just finished Eldest this morning. I think the books are so good. The author has awesome ideas for world building with how magic and stuff works. Nice. Part time reader guy. <laughs> If you it's a throwback right there, north, Coleman. Don't be expecting a rescue when you get into trouble. All right. Uh, have I explored? Okay, now we've discovered Sloan. Whoa, you just got a naked rat laying around here? Snuffles? Woof. Hmm, your leg appears to be injured. Woof. Do your best attempts at first aid to treat Snuffles' injured leg. It would, if I tried it now, would I just end in, like, amputation or something? Snuffle. So that's why it's called Snuffles. Uh, these, these, these guys are... No, they can see, right? When you look at them head-on, it doesn't look like they have eyes. But they do. Man, they are ugly as sin, though, let me tell you. Um, all right. Well? Uh, this was cool. I guess. Proud Kindle owner now. That combined with the library card is going to make me unstoppable. Yes, that's so. That's how I've been watching or reading the Dexter series. Um, progress has slowed tremendously, though. Uh, but I do want to get back into reading every night before bed. Rip DVDs in 2022. Oh yes. Heck yeah. I didn't mean to flaunt my one percentness to everybody like that, but yeah. My one percenter. All right. Are the death claws that way? Because that way looks pretty interesting. These weird powder gangers are still here. Uh, I see somebody roaming around out there. This looks like a prison. So could this be like the powder gangers main main base? Apparently, they love prison. I don't know. George, hey, how you doing? How's life been treating you, George? Welcome in. Why are you standing so far to talk to that guy? I don't know. I don't know. He did it, not me. These powder gangers are supposed to be tough individuals, but they don't ever attack me. Except that. Gosh, dang it. Octi, hey, 13 months, my goodness, woo, and Peachy, hello, hello, Octi, thank you so much, 13 months, cheers to you, Octi, can we get cheers up in the chat, not only for the sub, but also for the modness, you me. the modness that is Octi, 
Big shame the movie was butt cheeks. Was it really? The movie wasn't all bad. They got the names of the, some of the people correct. <laughs> oh, gosh. Love these and Kindle just need a proper device separate from my comp to slowly enjoy my uh, gr to enjoy my slowly growing library. I have a paper white. And uh, I actually I really enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, I got Mrs. Magoot's the newer version of the paper white, and it's pretty cool because it has a um, running low on smokes again. All you guys care about are your dang smokes. Um, it, it's got a mode where it can switch uh, the white and black. So then uh, it's got like a black, a black screen with white text, which is great for nighttime reading. Why are you standing right next to that irradiated barrel, dude? Bro. Maybe he's got a super, maybe he's got a super mutant girlfriend. He just wants to be closer to her. I don't, I don't know. Let's go over here. This is definitely a prison. And I'm sure I'm totally welcome here. Peachy, how's your day going so far? <clears throat> uh, it was the poor take on what uh, Urgals are that made me refuse to watch it all. Uh-oh. A true legend. You have a new paper white too, Spooky? Proud dark mode read. Oh, I'm so jealous. My paper white doesn't have it. It's too old. I got mine in uh, 2018, I believe. Too old to go to do the dark mode. I'm totes jelly. But it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to be to like upgrade a. Uh, it's it's hard to upgrade my Kindle though because I'm having a tough time. Wait, please do not stand when shots are fired. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. What is this place? What? Hang on. Did I even look in these trailers? It's hard to justify upgrading it though, because mine still works perfectly fine. The battery life is still really good. Um, everything else on it works really well. So it's sort of like, how do I, how do I just say, ah, time to throw you out? You know, I, I don't know. I really would like dark. Dark mode would be probably the, the number one thing that I could use because it's like the new one's also waterproof. And I'm like, what am I going to do with that? Like, but dark mode, dark mode I'll use all the time. Hitten, hello, hello. Doing all right. Doing all right. How about you? NCR correctional facility. Oh, there's a guy. Absolutely no entry. Except, wait a minute. I think we're gonna make an entry. Oh yeah. Look at you, walking in here like you're one of us. Don't you know this is Powder Ganger? Jaws. Territory? Wait a minute. You're. Okay. So these are the Powder Gangers. I was right. I was right. Kobo has a nightlight. Wait, what's a Kobo? So far, not too bad. I'm on day five of restarting my keto diet. So it's going pretty well so far. How's your day, not Chris? Well, first of all, uh, good luck with the keto. I would not survive on a keto diet. Uh, carbs are literally my favorite food. Um, but good luck to you. Um, other than that, doing okay. I'm still, you can hear it. I'm still congested. I'm just, uh, I'm getting annoyed with it now because I feel fine. I just, like, my voice just, you know, it sounds like I'm plugging my nose is all. But only because I thought I bought Mrs. Spooky an older Kindle for Christmas since we weren't sure if either of us would like it. She loves hers, so I went and bought a nicer one for me. <laughs> I did the opposite. I've got the older one. Mrs. Magoose has the newer one, but she also reads more than I do. So figured it would make sense. That she has the better one. She was using, she was still using like a first or second generation Kindle. Um, the ones with the physical buttons and, uh, you know, the paper changing, like, like it had the digital ink or whatever it's called. It was supposed to be groundbreaking at the time. Um, but it was, it was pretty old. So shower my Kindle, Avi. Time alert, gotta help a friend out for a bit. All good, Curry, all good. Hidden, hope you're doing well, though. You could read in the bathtub, Mr. McDucky. How are you doing today? At the beach, at the beach, that could be, yeah. Or maybe like in the pool, if somebody really wants to just sit on their floaty in the pool, maybe. Don't throw it out, just keep in that drawer with all the other old and forgotten electronics. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. That's better than recycling. This could never be in sick? Okay, yeah, I feel you on that, kitten. Hopefully it wasn't too bad, though. 
Glad you're doing well otherwise. Kobo might be Canadian. <laughs> Curry says very Canadian. <laughs> it's an anagram for book and the ecosystem is easier to break than Amazon's. Really? Okay. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, today I learned. Back to lurking. All good. All good, Curry. Carbs are life for sure. I did keto a few years ago and that was pretty, it was pretty, pretty successful with it until I found macaroni and cheese again. Oh, <laughs> then it all went to poo. <laughs> I hated my Kindle Paperwhite because the battery sucks. If it drains and you don't charge it for a while, it's useless. Really, my Paperwhite has phenomenal battery life. I've had it for like four years. And again, I don't read every night, but I've probably, I could probably tell you the number of times I've charged it. Probably 10 times in that amount of time. All the beaches that are in Indianapolis. Exactly. <laughs> Gourmet, thank you so much for raiding earlier too. And the follow. Uh, hopefully work goes okay for you. Just getting by at work. How's Vegas? Oh, goodness. We got slapped back to... We got slapped into the next dimension by a a, a, a death claw earlier. It was impressive. But other than that, it's it's great. <clears throat> Read it. The man-made Venetian canal behind IHOP. That's pretty much... Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. <laughs> Plan to do keto when I have a full kitchen. Do you, Octi? Too bad, just a day of vomiting. Oh, no. Keep having drainage and won't go away. Oh, I'm sorry, kitten. That's not fun at all. Missed the canal in downtown Indianapolis. Love walking the canal, but never did often. I've only done it a few times. They explained at the store, but if you don't charge it and the battery goes down, you can charge it a second time. <laughs> no one told me, so I just kept buying new and new Kindles. Oh, gosh. Have you done keto before? Peachy, we have a few people in here that have for sure. I don't know if Octi is among that group, but I know for sure we do have a few. What is this place? This? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, mm. us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn Man, territory. this dude's got a fresh face, but his hands... Looks like he's seen some stuff. You know what I mean? I make you miss Indy, really? Thanks so much for that. We mean a sport group together. We're back on it now, too. Are you? Are you, Nander? Oh, great, Nander. <laughs> That's a problem. Once a battery depletes without being recharged for a while, it won't recharge. Really? I have not had that issue. You want me to come back to the office? I have no clothes that fit. Ah. So, hmm. Really, really successful, except my partner at the time would eat all my food, so I stopped. Oh, no. No more fajitas. Oh, you just got to do, uh, you got to do lettuce wrap fajitas, I guess. I don't know. Battery legitimately dies. Wow. The keto before my wedding lost 30 pounds and went on my honeymoon and everything went to heck. Oh, gosh. You can't, but you can't not eat, like, depending on what the honeymoon was, you know? Like, Mrs. Magoots and I went on a cruise and, like, we just ate tons of food. Couldn't not, you know? Crystal, hello, hello. Things are going well today. How about you? My husband does that too. I have to spell out what he can and cannot have of my leftovers. Oh, no. That has not been a problem for Mrs. Magoots and I, but uh, but I get that. I get that. She has actually been, she, since she's been on her elimination diet, trying to figure out what's causing these headaches, um, she actually has had, like, offered some of her food to me. I, I try to offer my food in, in response, but she can't, she can't have it. So I am actually end up turning, I actually just end up being a turd, you know? Never had that happen, but I have an old Kindle. Lettuce wraps, truly a disappointing alternative. That is that is true, yeah. I mean, you could do... Well, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> low, car, low carb tortillas that taste exactly the same as regular. Do they really? Are you sure about that? I'm putting a bunch of taco meat into lettuce wraps. We did all... Uh, we did sandals, all-inclusive Barbados. So much food. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm sure... You wore socks while you were there, too. So socks and sandals. Uh, that's the way to do it. More power to you, honestly. I didn't care. This is part of why he's an ex. Oh, gosh. That's fair, Octi. That's fair. A few packs in my pantry, and that's probably what I'm having for lunch today. Trust me, I think they do. All right. Fair, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. We're true keto, but have done well on low carbs. We cheat during the weekend. Ah. Schooner, welcome back in. Good morning to you. Did, did you just at yourself? That happens sometimes. 
They are close, but there's nothing quite like a freshly made tortilla. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Magoot's actually uncovered some uh, tortilla recipes during uh, during quarantine because, uh, you know, everything was out of stock. Uh, those are good. Those are good. No socks were worn. That wasn't the only thing that was. <laughs> Never mind. Um, down 10 pounds since we started. How long ago was that, Charles? Not too long ago, right? Twitch's reply threading feature is, it is pretty strange, yeah. I usually just manually do it, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> but how we are, too. It's not true macro balancing, but it works for us. I do wish the reply was better, though, because it's better than manually doing it, if it works properly, you know? But... Uh, can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to Saving me. Saving honeymoons for marriage. <laughs> Two months ago. Well done, Charles. Well done. That's really good progress. Uh I wanna kinda wanna see if I can join the powder gangers, but quit wasting my time. What exactly is a powder ganger? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. It, in fact, so, it does. That's what we do. Rob and blow things up. He's honest. He's an honest criminal. Tells me exactly what it is. What did you do to end up in here? Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. Missing out, okay. The hub, right? <laughs> it's uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. Feeling great after being nervous about plans for last night going well. I was a guest on a friend's stream. It went great, so I'm feeling great today. There you go. Hey, that's good. That's good to hear, Crystal. Way to... uh. Lean into some of your fears, you know what I mean? Good point. Not much was worn. This was new marriage back when sexy things still happen. <laughs> I think that calls for... Uh... Oh, yeah. Not any socks and sandals being worn at that. Sandals, Jamaica. Sandals, Barbados. I keep thinking sandals, Jamaica because of the office. Uh, okay. If you're free, why are you sticking around? We've got the biggest, baddest fort oh my. in this land. <laughs> There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. You steal grub? And who's in charge? That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. All right. I am going to go in, but not yet. Yeah, whatever. I feel like these guys are just a little bit edgy, uh, whereas Spanky is truly evil. So I feel like Spanky's wanting to join Caesar's Legion. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm sort of like, if I go in, do I join the Powder Gangers? Does that make Caesar's Legion hate me? I kind of want to find Caesar's Legion before I do, uh, before I decide which gang I'm going to join, you know? Does that make sense? If someone starts a keto thing on Discord, I join. Ooh, I mean, we could create, uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh, I think those dogs are going to attack. Good gosh. I can't even see these things. Maybe they just... Maybe the line of sight hasn't happened yet? They... They're showing as enemies, but they are not attacking me at all. Okay. I like that, though. No matter who you join, somebody's going to hate you? Exactly. That's that's what I figured. That's what I figured. There's there's going to be people that probably dislike me. So we're going to sort of have, like, a spectrum of emotions. Somebody's going to dislike me, and somebody's going to absolutely hate me. All right. Hello there. Oh, God. You Where'd you come face. from? I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and bro oh, screw this. Line just ain't in my nature. I think you I'll can target the bombs with that, yeah. I've been following you for a good bit now. Oh. Don't follow me, you'll live longer. Okay. You're a dangerous sort, I get that. But I have some information I think you'll find useful, which made me follow you for a spell. Where did this dude come it from? Seriously. Off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. Dude, I was you in a building. To it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. 
I was in a building. I know for a fact when I picked that up, I was in Bison Steve's. Dip, hey, hey, hey. My one true love loots, Mc I mean, Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> How you doing today, Dib? Like that office scene where Angela shows up right behind Dwight. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, for sure. I love that one. Old Bethesda games are wildest man just appeared out of nowhere. I do have a stalker for sure. I do love that scene, Coleman. Why didn't you say anything then and there? I had to make sure of your disposition. There's a lot of jumpy folks out there that'll shoot a man as soon as talk to him. Now that we're conversing, though, I can tell you what I know about those caps. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Okay. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Hmm. So you collect these caps too, huh? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. That's fair. There's people out there so mad with Kurt, hello, the hello. That they'll attack strangers. <laughs> Balutes McVegas. Suspicion that they have some of those caps. Doing great. Sunny weather, nice cool winds couldn't be better. Sunny weather, but cool winds. Man, it's been pretty cold here. Although tomorrow it's supposed to be in the uh, 70s uh, in the freedom units. Uh, and then uh, and then the very next day, I think it gets back down into the 50s. Oh, <laughs> where'd you come from, Octi? <laughs> I'm the angel in a lot of these situations. <laughs> what kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. Water? Is, or maybe was something you say water? Idea, and that's enough to get people motivated. Where can I find more of these? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus who does it, hoping Festus? someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places. Mm. The blue star caps are no exception. You mentioned someone named Festus. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. So nobody's actually it's seen this dude. He's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. No. Nope. That'll make him pretty damn old. Yep. But I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met mm. him. And they weren't the line I knew Rumi was sitting in the living room as I went down to change laundry. I popped into view and he's like, you are so quiet. <laughs> no problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for this. Okay, so if I kill Alan Marks, I get all the stars that he took. I like it. Should I follow this dude? Prison chain gang ahead. This guy, the only problem is this guy's going to walk really slow. Should we follow him? Yes or no? Follow this random dude uh, to see where he goes. Which direction is he headed right now? Oh, he's headed towards like Good Springs. Okay. Eh, never mind. I think that's uh, probably just going to end up being a pretty boring, pretty boring destination. All right. I think what I'll do is I'm going to head towards, uh, so we went to Prim already. I think I'll go ahead and fast travel there. I'm going to head towards the, what was it? Nipton? Yeah. Nipton, and then we'll kind of work our way around because I, I feel like eventually I'm going to come across the other gangs and I want to learn more about them. So here in Prim, we got a glimpse at NCR. Uh, and also fought a few. I think they were supposed to be powder gangers, but they weren't really. I, I don't know. Am I limping? Gosh, my guy is seriously a cartoon character. Also, when did I? Oh, I put that hat on because, okay, yeah, I remember now. It had a slight, uh, slightly uh, better benefit over, like, the other hat I was wearing. All right, we're going to try to find Nipton. Try to keep an eye out for other gang hideouts. I 
I was just about to say, man, it's kind of quiet. There's not even any uh, ambient music playing right now. We got one little tone. Oh, these are scavengers. They are going to attack on sight. Okay. Should probably get ready. Ooh, 10 pill, uh, 10 mil or didn't we, we have a silence night, uh, pistol now, right? Yeah. But the only problem is not very much ammo. Also, it's not in great condition. Hmm. I wouldn't mind shooting one of these at a guy though. Hmm. This would be kind of fun, right? Whoa, what are they shooting? Oh, uh, a ghoul. A ghoul just charged him. Oh, I'm detected. Wait a minute. Do these guys not care? Hang on a second. There's another ghoul coming. Oh, did he get one? Oh, he got one before he died. Oh, gosh. And who's that? This guy's dead now. Cleaver. I think I had. Do I have a cleaver? Gosh, I can't tell. Dynamites. Merc veteran outfit. Yeah, we don't care about that stuff. That stuff's cheeks. Oh, look. A nice little greeting when you come into this uh, highway patrol station. Oh, my gosh. My armor is in a date. Wait, is it really that bad? <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I like this thing. Uh, I did take some serious damage, though. Arrow Ghoul had bottle caps. Jackal Gang Leader had some leather armor, so I'll be able to repair. Also, Psycho. Ooh, that lead pipe is solid. 10 mil pistol that I can use for repairs as well. A butter knife. There's an actual butter knife, you guys. Uh, eat that apple. All right. Need apple? Apple. Er, fresh apple. All right. Saving solid pipe for me. Never mind. That one might be too far. <laughs> uh, all right. I had. Okay. This lightweight. Wait. Why did it say my armor was in? Oh, it must be the hat. Yeah, it's the hat. Okay. All of my helmets and stuff, though, are not doing so hot. This is actually in pretty good shape. Let's use this. All right, that's fully upgraded now. Apple is just over your carry limit, was it really? Uh, I had a 10 mil. I think I'm gonna try to repair with, oh gosh, dang it, it's doing it again. Oh, that's strange. Depending on where my cursor is, that's on the screen. That's how Oh my gosh, that is so strange. It's energy now. Uh, depending on where my cursor is on this monitor, I can scroll on my Twitch stuff. That's very strange. Okay. Let's do some 10 millimeter repairs. There we go. Now I'm just under my carry limit. But it's fine now that it's in my body. That is that is true. That is true. Uh, maybe I should eat some other stuff. Crispy squirrel bits. Increase my rads. Um, dirty waddies. Probably should have just drank the last one, too. There we go. So, I don't know why that one convict... Uh, so, we had the jackal gang... Wait, did I search this guy? Yeah, I did. Holster your weapon at Gamora. <laughs> Don't go off half cocked. My goodness. All right. Well, oh my. Uh, well. 
Oh, look. There's a tiny bit of a convict over here, too. Cleaver, that was the other thing it picked up. Let's see if I need to repair a cleaver. That cleaver could be solid. Uh, actually, it's not that good, but it does do bonus limb damage, though. Well, I don't need to be carrying around a grenade launcher at all times. Maybe we'll switch to a machete. DPS is 26 on that. See, that one's only 14. Combat knife, though, is pretty solid. That's 40. Powder charge. The silent. I really would like to use that silence pistol, but my caravan shotgun, I still don't have a ton of ammo for that either. I did want to try the throwing spear. Oh, that weather till. Oh, that's why. Okay. That's why I wasn't really using a 10 millimeter pistol. I have a weather 10 mil. That is uh, a lot better. I don't know why the weathered one is better than the non-weathered. 18 damage or 56 per second. Weighs 3 pounds. This one's 17 and 51. Oh, so maybe once it gets fully repaired, it'll be better. Right, for now, though, carry around this one. All right. So we found this. We continue on. All right, so we're almost to the spot where we turn left. Is that that? What is that? L little tiny rad scorpion? Try to see if I can get a sneak attack on it. Woo! Bark scorpion, not a not a rad scorpion. Okay. Like I said, we're supposed to turn left, but I would like to I would like to at least discover this place. Discovering places on your mini map is nice because then you can uh, you can always fast travel back. I need to do make sure I'm doing that. Somebody's already attacking me. Maybe? Oh, there it is. That rad scorpion's running away! Oh, there we go. Friend bought one of the Fallout board games. It was an interesting experience, but pretty fun. Just takes a long while to play. Is it? Is that a new game, or has that been out for a while? I feel like I'd heard of that. Um, but maybe it was just... Um, Oh, that's not good. Oh, gosh. Did I get poisoned? My limb damage is really, uh, really causing some issues, too. There's somebody over here. I think I might have just saved somebody. Nipton Road Rest Stop. It's one that's been out for a bit. There is a new... Oh, there is a new Fallout. Uh, a few Fallout games. Okay. I feel like I saw... Uh, like, I don't know if it was Fallout Monopoly or Risk or something like that. I feel like I saw something... Something similar. Like a, a skinned version of a, of, a, of a more popular game. As opposed to like its own individual game. I really need to find more of these. Uh... Uh, stim packs. I was like, what am I thinking of? Healing powder. Oh, that doesn't weigh very much at all. Zero cactus fruit <laughs> drops my endurance. Does it only drop it for one second or five seconds? There's a specific Fallout game, but I'm sure there's a Fallout version of Monopoly. That would not surprise me, yeah. 
Yeah, I believe that I believe that there are specific games for sure, but I just was curious. If, I, I'm trying to remember what I saw. If it was if it was just I thought it was just a skinned version, like a, a reskin. Bleak Venom. Wait, why would I do that? Ooh, this bloatfly meat. Brahmin steak. Should get me up pretty. Should do pretty solid. What's new? Where's new cannon anyway? Canaan? Sunset Saspies. All right. Is that a Sunset Saspy? Nope. But it is just empty. I'll go ahead and drink those Sunset Saspies. Oh, I have six of them. Maybe not all of them then. Just, let's see. It adds 50 HP. Say, so, yeah, just one of them. Relays those were so good for healing. It lasts for 25 seconds. That's, I mean, that's a big deal. Hmm. Blue spot with the ban hammer. I think I will take one of these, though. I'm tired of being crippled. All right. So we got our general store here. I should probably, like, investigate inside some of these places. But again, I'm just trying to... Trying to get moving on the... Uh, trying to. I'm in the knowledge gathering phase as opposed to the item gathering phase. Oh, this seems like a trap. Ooh. Here we go. We actually got some, some ammo for the silenced pistol. Oh, the Brahmin steak only just now wore off? Shoot, I probably didn't need to drink a Sunset Sassby at all then. There's definitely something going to happen here, right? Whoa, what's that? Where am I at? Mojave Outpost. Oh, that's where it's DLC, right? I think that's DLC. I mean, I could go that way at least to explore it. Like, get to, to get the marker. We have a 22 in ammo. Let's head back to the death claws. Yes, I think we're ready. <laughs> Fresh taters, precious. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Oh, wait, did that just make me over encumbered? One potato. Gosh, dang it. What's that sound? Uh, Let's see. How much do fresh taters weigh? Probably a pound each, huh? Yeah, it, no freaking way. How dense are potatoes in the future? I go and get like a 10 pound bag of russets at the store and I've got like 50 potatoes in there. All right, um, maybe I drop this uh, Merc Charmer outfit. It weighs eight pounds. Yeah, I think I do. I could also drop. I can't drop the. I don't know the motor, the Merc Charmer outfit and the motorcycle helmet. That's what makes me look like a. That's what makes me look like an old cartoon villain. But it's not worth that much, and it's kind of heavy. Then again, I probably have some weapons I could drop. I mean, that sledgehammer weighs twelve pounds. That's a lot. Um. Sorry, caravan shotgun. Uh, can the 10 mils repair the weather? They can. Okay. Okay. So maybe I don't get rid of that. Boxing tape. Binoculars. 
When did I pick those up? I don't even remember picking those up. I remember having them now. Oh, I've got a broad machete and a regular machete. Also, this cleaver is not very good. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop that. Um, I'm carrying around 8.7 pounds of dynamite. That's kind of a lot. A 12 pound incinerator. So I've got this machete uh, and then I have a broad machete. See, I think I'll I think I'll just keep the broad machete. So this is 27 damage per second. Broad machete is 44. That's much better. So we'll drop that too. And I think I am gonna drop the sledgehammer. 12 pounds. I mean, it's just so much. Uh, okay, I am carried around a nine iron as well. Only 26. It was more for the novelty. I'm gonna drop that. And then I think I am going to drop the Merc Charmer outfit and the motorcycle helmet. All right. It's fine. It'll be all right. Our cartoon villain uh, is no more. But, I mean, I also did get it in the first, like, 10 minutes of playing the game, you know? So, it's fine. Okay, I believe this is DLC, but I don't actually know for sure. I'm at least going to go and try to get the map marker so I can travel back here if I want to. But this is a pretty cool statue they've built. I want to be careful, though. If it is DLC, I don't want to get, like, sucked into it. I'm not ready. Activate Unification Monument. Wait, I can activate it? In the year 2271, the Desert Rangers of Nevada and Rangers of the New California Republic met at this spot to sign the Ranger Unification Treaty, the RUT. Under this treaty, the Desert Rangers agreed to be absorbed into the NCR in exchange for NCR's protection of Hoover Dam, New Vegas, and Southern Nevada against the forces of Caesar's Legion. Or Kaisar's Legion. Where are you going, dude? All right. Well, I'm going to leave it for now. I, I feel like this is, in fact, DLC. Statue is awesome. It is. Well done. Made out of scrap metal, you know? Scrap metal and rebar. Well done. But at least now I have the map marker uncovered. Ooh. You should definitely be able to get a motorcycle. That'd be cool. I did think it was interesting. So the powder gangers came here to work on the rail. And this obviously would have been after the war. But like no vehicles work. So is the train an exception? Or what were they doing with the rail to like, what was their purpose? The rail. I was talking to my mom. No worries. No worries at all, Peachy. That's far more important than uh, the New Vegas. Some uncivilized language. Um, you know, maybe a touch. A touch. But a bot came in and advertised a buy site. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, loot spot goods does not take any tolerance. He has no tolerance for that. You come in and you try to sell me followers. That's a no-no. Oh, that's a giant rad scorpion over there. Uh, and that's the way I'm supposed to go. That is a massive rad scorpion. Hey, Captain Kurtz. None of the New Vegas DLC will suck you in. It'll always ask if you're ready before you enter. Oh, that's a good... That's that's a really good mechanic. I was trying to remember... Uh, I was trying to think of the, the DLC from uh, Fallout 4. It's been a while, but that's the last, like, Bethesda DLC I've played, I think. So, how you doing, though, Captain? Um, maybe I should try to get a sneak attack in there first. Oh, is it dead? Did I shoot at something that was dead three times? I sure did. So what is over there? There are things moving. I just can't see them. Oh, ants. Oh, I forgot that ants existed in this game. Oh, God. Oh, 
these are all giant worker ants. I just shot his head off. Oh my gosh. It's a massacre. Man, I can't, but I can't, I can shoot them from a decent distance, but I can't hit the broad side of a barn when they get up close. My gosh. Glad you're doing well though, Cap'n. Welcome in. Are ant eggs or nectars? Ooh, that nectar could be useful. I don't think I'll take the ant eggs. Let's see, let's take another look at them. So plus two rads. Maybe I could maybe, well, then again, they weigh a pound each. I haven't been picking up any food that weighs a pound. That's just too much. Ant meat, similar deal. Ant nectar at least only weighs a quarter of a pound. Farm engagement on Twitter, uh, like that. Oh, I'm a Twitch streamer and could really use some graphic design. Next thing you know, you have a million fake impressions. <laughs> What's with those ants? It's like a nightmare scenario. They are pretty terrifying, yeah. So I thought this thing was alive. Uh, I was shooting at it from a distance. But I guess the ants got to it first. I wonder what, uh, what kind of... I wonder what kind of ant that was. Because I got a sneak attack on that one. That's why it died so quick. This is a giant soldier ant. Okay, okay. Not sure where you came from. Made that mistake once for a friend. I was like, he streams and wants emotes made and was slammed with so many DMs. Oh gosh, that's annoying. That is annoying. And this is on Twitter. I really don't. I I really don't get very much uh, bot engagement on Twitter. Uh, I I get much more bot engagement on Instagram. I don't know why that is. Uh, and actually, it's it's been way less uh, lately. On my personal Instagram account, I've been doing a lot more like track stuff, and I think that I don't think there are nearly as many bots in that. Can I kill this bird? Oh my God! It just vaporized. I honestly thought it would just go right through it. Good grief. Ants always look creepy. They really did. Did you know the world biomass of insects is more than plants, animals, and fish combined? Oh, uh, don't want that's not a very that's not very fun there, Octi. That is a fact. But not very fun. Ugh. Ugh. Sounds like a market you could tap into. Loots bots for track posts. <laughs> yeah, and I can stream it on my uh, track coaching simulator, huh? Oh, God. Where'd you come from? Hmm. This is not good. Serpentine patterns. Serpentine. How'd they cripple my leg? Really? Made me slower. Yeah, this is a problem. We've got ourselves a real problem around here. I killed their bird. <laughs> Raven soup for the soul. Fungi outclass all four. Wait, do they really? I did not know that. The 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 insects didn't does not surprise me. Fungi does. Raven soup for the soul though. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, well, we were almost to Nipton. I was getting very close, so I should have probably expected something, but, um, okay. We're going to try doing, uh, the doctor's bag. That is a pound. I'm going to go ahead and use one of those. That'll help me escape a little quicker. Serpentine patterns. Serpentine. Actually, I'm kind of dodging some bullets right now. You killed Eagly? No, I did not. Don't you dare. Don't you put that kind of evil on me, Coleman. Eagly is a treasure. It'd be really nice if I could climb that, but uh, I guess not. Okay. Uh, they're still running around. I have a feeling... Oh, and they're, they're going after ants now. Let me eat some of this uh, really questionable food. And I'll drink some Sunset Saspies, too. I think three ought to do it. All right, let me get my health back up. And then we'll go and we'll try to fight these guys. Spanky never runs. Spanky handles his business. Although Spanky is rather weak. There are four of them. 
Yeah, Spanky's rather weak. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's a caravan guard, isn't it? Boy, am I glad to see you. I can use you as a meat shield. Howdy. 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 Uh, where's the caravan, though? The Brahmin's here. Where's the actual merchant? Hmm. I keep taking these sips, but I haven't had anything really... Oh, there you are. Come here. Hey there. Need anything? You got any stims I might? Sure. Here's what I got. Spanky would grab the closest bazooka and handle things once and for all. That's probably true. I do have a grenade launcher. I'll probably use that. Uh, ah, we got some caravan cards. Selling it to me at a nice, uh, I need, I am going to get into caravan. Don't you worry. Anti-material rifle suppressor. Oh, so you can create upgrades. Are they permanent in this game? Chainsaw HD chain. You get a high def chain for your chainsaw. That's handy. 4K. Reinforced leather armor. Oh, yeah. I should probably try to sell some stuff here, too. There's some stuff I could sell. A mini nuke. Yeah. Five missiles. This dude's got some stuff. I got a ripper HD chain. There are the stimmies. The stimmies, though, they still are 110 each. I'm just not very... Like, I'm not rich. You know what I'm saying? So... I could sell my 10 millimeter pistol though for 264. That's not bad, actually. I might do that so I can get some some uh some stim packs. Uh anything else of value to this man? Uh no, I'm keeping the maybe I shouldn't keep I don't know what to do. Cazador poison glands. Combat knife is worth 112. Well, that's not bad. Mm, my frag mines that I'll probably never use. Oh, but then again, I could I could have used frag mines there. Probably should have. The only problem is if they get too close, you know what happens? Like, and it's inevitable. Anytime I use a frag mine, I set one down and I'm running backwards, but they they get up to me too quick, and so it kills us both. That's what ends up happening. Um, Hydra, restore. Oh, that's just restoring limb condition. Okay, how much is that? That doesn't weigh anything. Incinerator's only 143. Grenade rifle's only 158. Yeah, this guy's kind of ripping me off. That's why that 10 millimeter pistol seems kind of good right now. Sturdy caravan shotgun's 457, but I need that. That weathered 10 mil pistol, though, 538. All right, let's sell a regular. We'll sell a regular 10 mil. That'll pay for at least a couple. Uh. That'll pay for a couple, uh, stimmies. And I'll pay for the rest. All right. We still have this weathered pistol. Okay. Let's do a real save. All right. Here we go. We'll do our best. Uh, I do, I do think I should get out the grenade launcher, maybe. Um, also, maybe I take some drugs. You guys think I should take, like, some Psycho? It's 25 damage percentage increase. Uh, I assume that's for everything. Good luck, Spanky. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna try to take this Psycho. I don't know how long the Psycho lasts for, but, uh, I think that's them right there, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Increases my damage output. Got one. <laughs> my aim is so bad. Look at this. The highest percentage I've got is 29% on the torso. I'll just go ahead and aim manually. That'll be a lot better. <laughs> All right, we got half of them down now. Feeling a lot better about my situation. 
57 magnums? Yes, please. But he didn't even have... He's got a cowboy repeater. That uses the 357s. I'll take that, though. And leather armor so I can continue to upgrade. All right, level four. Check it out. Level four, baby. Uh, Guns. We need to keep increasing guns every chance we get. Um, Melee is not bad either. I do want to keep increasing those, but maybe... Science repairs. Hmm. Allows you to create items and gun ammunition. See, that would be good too. Lockpick. I think I do want to increase lockpick. Uh, ease of disarming any hostile mines. Effectiveness of any explosive. Yeah, it, he's definitely going to want to have some explosive weapons here. I need to start using more grenades, and uh, I'll throw some on barter. And we get a uh, perk point. Running gun perk reduces accuracy panels with one-handed guns and energy weapons while walking or running. That sounds good. Educated perk, you gain two more skill points every time you advance in level. This perk is best taken early on to maximize two more every time. I like that. Go ahead and do that one. All right. Uh, where's the other one I killed, though? Further back. Oh, it's right here. Another 10 mil pistol. Might as well. I can sell it. I can sell it. All right. We got two more lurking around here somewhere that need dying. I don't know where they went. Ooh, that rat! Oh gosh, that rad scorpion was really something. We got a, a downed airplane over there. That looks pretty interesting. There you go. My perception is so bad. I I don't know. I don't know where they're at. Just hoping they don't sneak up on me like last time. Not over here. Must be back. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Should I try out the silenced? I think I should. Look at that pistol. That's pretty cool looking. Problem is, I am I'm bad at sneaking. Really bad at sneaking. All right, here we go. Do it. New weapons are fun. Yes, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, did it say that there was a bonus on sneaking? Yeah, bonus critical damage and critical hit uh, chance. All right, please don't miss. Oh, freaking wrecked. Bro, you got wrecked. And that one missed. Okay. I don't have that many bullets, so I'm going to go ahead and change right away. Yucky. <laughs> Damn. That was good. I like it. Switch back to the weathered one. Actually, no. Let's freaking try this. Oh, shoot. She moved. <laughs> Can I pick it up? Oh, I can't. They're one use throws. Okay, that must be another sneak weapon then. All right, we'll switch. We'll switch back. You don't mess with a caravan shotgun, all right? Pack of cigs. Are those worth anything? Gosh, Spanky is a looker. Have you not have you not got a good look at Spanky? Oh, he's impressive. He is really impressive, let me tell you. Fresh pear, yes please. I'll eat that now. And a purified water. Not not to be confused with putrefied water. Yeah, so you've not seen Spanky before? Look at him. He's uh, white as a ghost, and uh, actually it'd be better if I took off his hat, too. Not since character creation. Didn't realize he's a dresser, too. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Check this out. Look at his comb over. He's got the nice stash. 
I should I, I kind of do want to play in third person, but I also realize it's going to make the game a lot more difficult in some ways. So. Jeez, that skin, though. Oh, yeah, he glows. He glows. I don't even need flashlights. Oh, I can't re-equip the cowboy hat. Okay, well. All right. Let me eat this pear. Fresh pear. Have any other fresh... Uh, yeah, I can eat the fresh potatoes, too. Probably could have used those in cooking, but... I can't wear the hat because it got broken, and I, so you can, I guess you can leave broken items on, but once you take them off, you can't put them back on. So I've got to repair it before I can wear it. Psycho's worn off. Forgot I had taken that. Psycho's a heck of a drug. I like it. All right. Um, similar deal here. I don't have a ton of bullets with that, so I'm going to... I'm going to switch back. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab the, uh, let's see, what what did I want to use again? The broad machete. Hiya! That's what we'll hang on to for now. What are you guys shooting at? Look at this gunfight. Look at it. Bro, how are you not winning this? Oh. Well, he eventually did. Is he coming after me? Thomas. Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. <laughs> Bethesda Jank, if I've ever seen it. Uh, did you know her? Not for long. I met her on the road a few days ago, and we've been traveling together since. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Mm, well, there you go. It, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. Slothy! Lucky Charms for breakfast? Is that what he said? Oh, Lucky Charm necklace. All right. Slothy, cheers to you. Thank you so much. Six months, my goodness. It's me, the sloth for six MF months, baby. Good morning. Good morning to you. Cheers. Thank you so much. And this is for you. I know it's a little delayed, but it's for you. Okay. Happy birthday, slothy. I believe it was the uh, 23rd, if I'm not mistaken, right? It's almost been a week. But. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I actually, I did shout you out in the Discord, so, uh, on your actual birthday, so, I promise I didn't actually miss it, but this is the first time we've chatted since, so I wanted to make sure I, uh, make sure you got your song. You kill someone, uh, then runs 500 yards to talk to you, <laughs> you know? Lucky Charm Necklace? Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. Once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. Because caps are bad luck, why don't you let me hold on to them for you? Lucky for me, you mean. Hand them over. Yeah, we're doing that. I swear I need to join this Discord? Absolutely. Absolutely. If you do exclamation Discord, you'll get the link for it. You can join any time, Peachy. So was it a good birthday? Slothy, did you do anything? Uh, I know you had a, I know you had a long stream. Uh, was that Saturday? Unfortunately, Saturday was kind of. I mean, it's like uh, like every weekend. It's been, it was busy, so I didn't really get a chance to do it, but uh, to drop in. But um, but hopefully your actual birthday was good too. Oh, thank you so much for that, Spooky. Appreciate it. I assume the messages I'm getting are people joining Discord, or oh, then again, no, it's uh, about that time. Unfortunately. All right, I think the last thing we got to do to leave on a high note. Lucky for me, you mean, hand him over. What? The hell I will. No, you will. Oh, God, I still have my, <laughs> I still have my binoculars that equipped. Here. 
Yeah, Thomas, well, I uh, don't not sure why you ran over to me right after that woman attacked you. So we got seven of them. All right. Tomas's journal. We're going to take both of these things. Well, we got seven more blue caps. That's pretty cool. Honorary mod, of course, of course. I uh, had a long boy stream Saturday. My birthday, we went to the city and went through the Harry Potter exhibit. Oh, really? What all is in that? I got a really good lunch at one of my fave breweries. Went home, took a nap, then went back out to dinner. That's awesome. A Harry Potter exhibit? Still a little too much. All right, so is it data, right? Miscellaneous? Last entry of the journal reads, things finally seem to be turning around. I made a nice bundle of caps, turning in some scrap in the last town I passed, and now I have a new traveling companion. Her name is Jacqueline, and she's pretty cute. I'm not going to get ahead of myself here, but things are looking up, and to think I was actually beginning to doubt the power of my lucky necklace. Ah, oh, well, that's unfortunate. But Spanky, uh, Spanky takes what he wants, so unfortunately, that's kind of what happened there. What do you got here? This is Nipton. It does sound good for sure. Michelle, how you doing today? Happy Tuesday. Woo! Uh, oh wait, is this Caesar's Legion? <gasps> I think it is. This is why I wanted to do this though. Who are you? This actually might be a powder ganger. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> are you feeling all right? Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Now I gotta loot that yeah. guy's girlfriend. Oh shoot, I forgot to do that. You're right, Spooky. What lottery did you win? What lottery? The lottery. That's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my god, smell that air. This guy's <laughs> gonna die too. Oliver Swanick. Are you a powder ganger? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery. <laughs> this guy's too much. I need to get going. Yeah, he's definitely getting murdered. All right. Uh, it was amazing. It was the entire second floor of the Franklin Institute in Philly. They did a really good job. All props to costumes. It was really pretty. In it was also pretty interactive. Highly recommend if anyone was in HP and is around Philly. It was a huge exhibit. For sure. That sounds awesome. Is it permanent or is it like, uh, I don't know. Is it uh, temporary? I guess that'd be the opposite of permanent, but favorite voice acting in this game. So far, this dude is uh, next level. But yeah, he's definitely going to die. Bye. Let him get out of the city a little bit, though. Also, uh, hang on one second. We did find Caesar's Legion, though. I, that much I can tell. Uh, that that music is... Oh, it's so good. Um, we have any Sunset Saspies? Yes, we're going to take uh, two of those. All right. And then I need a gun. We'll go with the trusty, trusty, dusty, weathered 10 mil. I've got you now. Lottery ticket. Oh, reading glasses. Thanks for those, dude. Yeah, Spanky's not really a good guy, you guys. He's rather terrible. Uh, put on these reading glasses, though. How's he looking these? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that that's good. That looks nice. I'm glad we did this. I want sound alerts of I won the MFing lottery, baby. <laughs> hey, I'll clip it and make you one if you want. It's not permanent, but they are usually they usually stay pretty long. They're supposed to be there all summer. That's good. That's good. I was just telling Mrs. Magoots I'd like to go to the uh, uh, the Harry Potter uh, like in Universal Studios. I've never been there. Good call on this one, Spooky. Raider Badlands armor. And look at that. Two blue caps, too. Can I use this for any repairs? I'll try. Probably not, but I'm going to try. She had purple hair. Was well, probably one of the better better looking uh, character models in the game too. Sorry about your luck. All right, let's. Uh, does it make sense for me to do a bunch of repairs? I think so. 
because that'll make that one 10 millimeter uh, more valuable. Uh, do I have anything else to do repairs with? I did pick up some leather armor, I think. Yes. So we'll repair with that. And then can I do... I can't do anything with that, so we'll go ahead and drop it. All right. Life is good, loots Can't complain. Love to hear that, Michelle. Love to hear that. Shout out your houses. I'm Hufflepuff. Are you really Hufflepuff? I'm a Gryffindor. I'm a Gryffindor. All right. Uh, I actually... A second. I don't think I have... Let me double check here. I don't think I have a meeting today. I want to make sure on that. Nope. Okay. So let me find out about... Let me, let me get, introduce myself to Caesar's Legion here. Or Kaisar's Legion. I think they prefer Kaisar, but... Um... And then uh, that'll probably have to do it. But I would like to do a raid. I'd like to do a raid today. Um, we'll take a look at my own list. But if anybody has, I'll, I'll just ask now. If anybody has any raid targets in mind, feel free to take a peek. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I vaguely remember this. Kind of hard to forget this stuff. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest Volpace of Volpace and Kulta? It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion bride. taught here. Especially any NCR troops you run across. Ah, okay. You were there for your honeymoon? Oh, I want to go for sure. Is that what I missed the Guillermo del Toro exhibit when that was touring? Oh. Hope he retires in two days. He's been in the best mood. Uh, then we head to New York to see the grandkids. That's awesome, Michelle. Two days. My goodness. So retiring on a Thursday. Uh, what lessons did you teach here? Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution. Moral sickness? Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. What exactly happened here? Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it, too. Cool hoodie, Mr. Inculta. <laughs> you captured everyone? Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Ah. Each did nothing. Even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. I admire the purity of the Legion's justice. Sounds like they got what was coming to him. Yes, they did. As I gained fame in Caesar's them, Legion just for saying time. that. Oh, gosh. We'll go and teach them what you've learned here. There will be more lessons in the days ahead. In the days ahead. I got to say, their their outfits are kind of cool, though, you know? Was there more for us to discuss? Yeah, I found this lottery ticket. I'll do as you ask. Then I bid you, Wale, until we meet again. All right. Move along. Okay, that's a cool-looking dog, too. My gosh. All right. Can I talk to any of these folks? Person appears to be near death. To remove them from this cro from the cross would kill them. Hmm. Nipton Hall. All right. Well, uh, yeah. This is a really. This has been a real um, warm and fuzzy uh, interaction here. Yeah. Looks good. Looks nice. Very welcoming town of Nipton. Uh, 
gunshot? Mr. Inculta. Oh, there's somebody in here. Love a little crucifixion with my morning coffee. Precisely. Who's going to start shooting me in here? Uh-oh. Are those Legion mongrels? They are, but wait a minute. We're friends now. They don't know how to use doors, do they? Okay. We're supposed to be friends. There's a way to check your fame and stuff, right? Is it maybe it's under stats? No, I'm only neutral with them. Okay. I can see my perks and my skills and my special and my stats. All right. I think this is a good place for us to go ahead and uh, leave off for now. We finally found Caesar's Legion, which, uh, again, never played this way before. I, I, I don't really ever play as an evil character. I'm always, like, extreme good. Uh, so this is a little bit different for me. But uh, let's head to the tavern, my friends. Uh, I got to get to work here, and uh, we'll take a look at raiding somebody today. And in the meantime, uh, I will look at I will look at the mods that I can do, um, see if I can get them to work using the uh, vortex or nexus or whatever you know. Um, but I'm going to take a look at uh, at what she sent, Spooky, um, and hopefully I can get it figured out. Because yeah, the the the, the farm just did not I don't know something didn't work. I followed the instructions to a T. Seemed like everything was going to work, and then it just didn't. So uh, hopefully that'll that'll improve. Um, but yeah, it's not a very big list of mods I want to use either. I, I don't I don't like overloading mods. So, all right, my friends, Steph, hope you're having a good day. Okay. All right, taking a look at our friends that are online currently. Captain Kurtz, thank you so much for that follow, my friend. Cheers. This one is to you. Cheers. We'll be excited to see how things go with the mods, even if it's a few. I know. I, I want to get... Um, here, let me list to you the... I can I can tell you what mods I've uh, I've got on here. Actually, if I just search Fallout. There we go. And I'll share the list with people, too, in case they want to look into them more closely. But um, just general overview, not specifics. I've got a texture mod. Uh, there's an anti-crash mod, which is... I, I actually... Like the game's been really stable. I think it, I think it has to do with the GOG version, uh, because there's also a four gigabyte patcher mod that's supposed to make it more stable. But I believe the GOG version runs it automatically. Um, so there's that. And then I have a skies and weather mod uh, updating to a larger UI, um, because if you've noticed, like every time somebody says anything, it's it's about this big on my screen, um, and so it, it ends up using more of the screen with the larger UI. Uh, there's a HUD mod uh, that'll make it to where I can move like the compass up towards the top center. I can move my action points out from behind my camera so you guys can actually see that as well. Uh, then, of course, then there's just the, the ones that kind of control all those. So the config, um, UIO, NVSE, those types of things. So NCV, hello. Hello. We want to cheers to you, NCV. Hope you're having a good day. I'll be back for the next stream for sure. I appreciate that. Seriously, Captain. Good to have you in today. Thanks for the fun stream. I don't know much about uh, Fallout, but I'm enjoying watching you play. Uh, appreciate that. Fallout's such a great series. Order breakfast in the tavern? Which, uh, what are you going to order? I'm getting pretty hungry myself. Steph, you have a wonderful day as well. Anti-crash mod, I need that. Yeah, I... Uh, what, uh, what version of the game did you try running, Spooky? Back in time for the log off. That's all right, Charles. Hopefully the work's been going okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do. And I'll, uh, when I do actually get all the mods installed, I'll, I'll create a write-up and I'll share with you guys what it is in case anybody wants to try modding it as well. I'm trying to have the same build as me, uh, either now or in the future. Uh, you'll have it. Well, we got a few people online today. 
A Fallout omelet? Oh gosh, you you ready for all those rads? Most recent Steam version as of five months ago. Okay, yeah. So maybe maybe the uh, maybe the GOG version is a little more stable then. Uh, I read somewhere that it had the four gigabyte patch, uh, which I guess makes the game. I don't know if it makes the install like just makes the game smaller or what, but maybe it maybe that's the only difference. Played words on stream or marbles or something that night instead. What I miss after the death clause? Uh, lots of evil stuff, Charles. It was pretty evil today. Um, I think, let's see. Hmm. GOG version is $9 reduced. Is it really? Maybe they're doing a sale right now. Got some rat away in my coffee. There you go. Way to way to head that off. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's take a look. Uh, last time we raided somebody that was playing New Vegas, they were playing. It was their first ever. Uh, first ever. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is somebody quite a bit larger than me, but their name is You Found Emo, and so I'm tempted to go ahead and mod them. Mod. I'm, I'm tempted to go ahead and raid them. Let me make sure they're not about to sign off, though. This also is their first playthrough. I feel like we need to at least say hello. So we might raid somebody uh, somebody new today. Until 411. That's good. I think you got to do it. Hashtag emo's not dead. I think so, too. I think so, too. Um, I generally try to find people similar in size to me, but and this person is partnered but um but playing their first ever playthrough of new vegas like i mean and their name is you found emo i gotta try it right so i like her accent too you found emo yeah i know you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna fit right into slothy as well as spooky i know we got a few here so uh my friends uh let me get out some thank yous and we're gonna go raid somebody new today Emo's not dead. We love it. Indeed. Coleman Curry. Loot Spot Goose even had some work to do today. And Octi, thank you so much for modding. Uh, we got follows from Captain Kurtz, The Gourmet Betrayal, and Oddbox Geo. We got subs from Nonder, Octi, and Slothy Sloth, and The Raid from The Gourmet Betrayal. Thank you so much, everybody. Our Kofi members are Chaotic, Coleman, Iron, Phil, Fresh, Poro, Nidalicious, and Spooky Deer. Thank you all so much for your continued support. Uh, seriously, been enjoying Fallout uh, a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, it's an older game, but it's been—I I don't know—just I guess just because it feels so new to me, uh, because I never, I never really gave it the time of day when I played it the first time. So uh, it feels feels brand new. But wasteland raiding, we will go, of course. My friends, uh, stick around. We'll go drop this raid uh, on You Found Emo. Hopefully, put a smile on their face. Um, if nothing else, we can talk about some emo stuff, I guess. So. Um, but until tomorrow, hope you guys take care, be safe out there, and I'll see you real soon. Love you all. Bye.